What? An actual box for my comic book? It's a Christmas miracle. Silver Age Key Comic coming up next. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. There is actually a box for my key comic that was sent to me in, I am very happy, in an actual box. So let's move that box out of the way, and we'll show you these, this key issue. This is one of those books that I've wanted for a long time. But like I always say, be patient, wait it out, and you will always find the right deal. So this is another one of those books that um, I've wanted for years. And I've passed up on many, many auctions. Now there's something also specific, and they put it also in a top loader, so they did a great job with this. So they actually put it in a box... And then they put it in a top loader, and they put cardboard on both sides. So to this seller, I say thank you. And it seems like that's a rare thing these days. And this book is a Silver Age key book. This is definitely one to pick up because there are rumors of a movie that could potentially come out. Now, whether it happens or not remains to be seen. It's one of those things that anything can change. And while I'm doing this, just make sure you wait until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. And if you would like to be one of those people, just uh, make sure you're a subscriber and also comment often. So with that being said, let's show the book. And I finally got Batman issue 181, which is the first appearance of Poison Ivy right there. Uh, this is an absolute key issue. Now one of the things I am going to do, because people may or may not know this, like the Marvel stamps, there is a specific thing in this book that has to be there in order for this to be at an utmost value. Alright, so they even put an extra bag and board. I will change these bag and boards because you can kind of see they're wrinkly. That means they need to be changed. Now this book has to have in the center a poster of Batman and Robin. And they said it was in there. And there we go. So it is attached to it, which is important. Because a lot of them, they just find the poster and just stick it in there. So if it's not attached, that's a bad job. And that's somebody that might have taken another poster out. But this make or, makes or breaks the comic. Just like the tattoos in um, Amazing Spider-Man 238, you have to have the poster in there for it to be complete. Because if you ever get it graded, it will come back incomplete. Although it does not affect the story. So this is roughly, it looks like about a 2.0 to a 2.5. Uh, there's some staining here. Uh, there's some browning along the edge here, which means they must have at one point put it in a uh, comic book holder that didn't have the backing board or was exposed to sunlight. There's some break chippage along the bottom. And you can see there's a lot of spinal breaks along the spine. But no spine roll. Color looks pretty decent. And the fact that it does have the uh, poster in the middle is something that is important. So um, I think I got a pretty decent deal on this one. If this book kind of averages, goes out to about 175 to 200, even in lower grades. And what did I pay for this? As you guys know, I always give the prices, which include shipping and handling. I paid a total of $133.50 for this book. So not bad at all, especially with the poster intact. And this is the, one of the things I always recommend to people. Just because the seller said that poster was in there does not guarantee that it is. Or even if they don't mention it, it is your job to check. So this way there is no surprises. Because if I wouldn't have checked and I sent this in to get graded and the poster wasn't in there, 
I would be really disappointed when it comes back a qualified grade. So make sure you check your comics. Even if they say it's in there, you always want to verify just to make sure. So that's it. Hopefully you uh, appreciated this comic. And there's one of my cameo appearances of my cat. And if you do, if you want to hit the thumbs up button, that's great. If you want to hit the share button, that's even better. If you want to hit the subscribe button, that's fantastic. Just don't hit anybody else's belly button. You can hit your own. Just do it nice. And that's it. So that's it. And that is also it. And I'm trying to hold my cat back. So don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, wait until the end to see who's the surprise surprise shout out. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. And this time... We're zooming in on the cat.